What's going on guys? We're back with another video <laughs> today. These are the vibes for today. So right now, uh, we're just coming back actually. We went to the other side of the world to uh, buy a fucking intercooler. We got my boy, Woody. We're already heading back. Get the sunset and shit. <laughs> Not that. No, I'm saying, um, look. So we traveled four hours over there. We're back. As you can see my boy is getting down and dirty right now. We're cleaning the intercooler right now. It had a bunch of oil in it. Uh, but as you can see, this is the HPF Horsepower Freak intercooler. They stopped making these joints in like 2011. We're gonna be basically guiding you through how to put this intercooler on. Do we even know how to do wash it? it. No, no. How to wash it? We're using a degreaser. This is the one we're using, Purple Power. So the first thing we're doing is um, hitting it with this and water. Don't be scared to spray some uh, inside. And then also using a soft brush. You wanna use a soft brush because you don't wanna fuck up this. And this and only if you're getting it used. If you're getting oh, it yeah, brand new, new, your fins are gonna look really perfect. But um, once you finish cleaning it with the degreaser and the water. This inner cooler is the one that uses the stock C-clips and just bolts on so you basically just unbolt the stock one from right here boom it just holds it one bolt right here one bolt on the other side and then you got to take the c-clip out pop it out and then you just pop this one right in bolts it back on and it's literally that easy guys that's the reason why i was looking for the hpf or something like like this one it's not that dangerous kid take a sip then <laughs> what's your starbucks order let me see what's in there we got the H2O with uh -huh. extra um, acetone with extra chemicals. So first, we're gonna get we got a little like how much ounce is this? A little 12 oh, ounce. A venti size cup. Look at my boy. That's it. Hey, hey, hey. All right. So this is basically this this is, this is pretty self-explanatory. You get some acetone in a cup, a venti size cup, preferably, and then you just pour it in there. Do it once or twice, maybe three times, just to be sure. Um, depends how expensive your acetone was. That acetone could sit in there for a little bit, just move around. Cause as you can see, look at that shit. It looks like the grease from my work and shit. Only the real ones know, Andrew. You're watching, you already know what type of grease I'm talking about, brother. Dude! Hey look, there's like a little thing right there and shit. After this, we're just gonna make sure it's completely dry. And then we're gonna go ahead and get to the bolting on process. That way we could get to that stage two as fast as possible. We're also gonna do a little oil change cause it's been like about 3000 miles since I did it. And for these cars, you wanna stay on top of that for sure. Uh, we're just gonna do a little bit of maintenance. Uh, you could go as far as doing spark plugs and all that before, but I'm pretty sure mine should be good. If I start misfiring, I'll probably end up getting spark plugs, but there's nothing too crazy. If you live in like New York, hot type of vibes, New York, gets cold. New York gets hot sometimes, okay? When it gets hot, it gets hot, but when it gets cold, it gets cold. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Rock NYC. If you're watching this. If you're watching this, we're making this película for you, alright? So if you live in the hot hot area, this is a kind of pretty cool mod that you should do. This is the big ass tree that's under it's the the guard. The under trim thing. There was hella screws, so if you have like a stock bumper or whatever bumper and you have the right screws, you're gonna have those right here. All of these, just remove it from the lip cause that's where the splash thingy connects right here. And then you're gonna have a bunch of, um, a bunch of screws. There are uh, eight mils, I think, all around. Like it reaches all the way to kind of right there-ish where that one cuts off, obviously. And then 
you just slide it back and under and then it'll all come off that's it these are the c-clips that you're gonna need to take off it's the same c-clip that you needed for the charge pipe if you have done that already so you just stick like a flathead in between the little groove because it's like you just stick a flathead right there in the little curve uh, and then just lift it off kind of and then the next bits you're gonna have to do are right here those t little things what what size are they do you know uh t27 they're t27s and now you gotta strap up with the glasses that's it that's wraps that's it we're under here with the little hybrid phrase jack Come on, man. Right now, your job is to embold that T and that T, right? And then, and if you have a, a buddy to help you, um, he could hold it or someone could hold it while you unbolt them. That way, it doesn't fall on your face, type shit, you know? Sheesh. Alright, guys. We got the inner cooler out. You can see the outlets right there, boom. And right there, boom. Here's the stock inner cooler. You can see it's plastic right here. And then here's the big ass fucking in the cooler. Now what, now what you gotta do is you gotta take these C clips all the way off so you can transfer it onto your new one. Alright guys. As you can see, I'm not sure if you can tell from out here. But I did a, we had to do a little bit of cutting. You might have to do a little bit of cutting. The one that we got is kind of big and it's kind of like you know, it was too fat and I knew it was, we, we knew it wasn't gonna fit. So either way, we just took off the little the little grill part and we just cut it off. So what do you do? So, so, so we skipped a bunch of steps again. Cause we getting it done right. <laughs> we don't have time for this shit. Before I told you that you have to take off the C clip from the stock one and this one. On. If you have a big ass beefy one like ours, which is a five inch. Cause this one was big as fuck so we had to cut off uh, this shit, it was like, I don't know what's it called, but it's like, it's not, it serves no purpose. I, I mean, at least I don't think so. That's My boy it. got the black nasty for the one time and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it, boys. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you bolt that on first, it'll make it easier. And then again, if you have a buddy with you, it's easier because you can hold it up. Or a jack too. You can just put it right here. And you bolt these guys on first. And then you have to kind of like uh, put the hose into the hose, the little tubing hose. You have to put it into the little intercooler, and you have to make sure that no chrome is showing from the lip until it's like kind of flush. And then you have to snap on the little C clips that were from the stock one back into there. And basically, these are literally like the same way you took it off. You just put it right back on. It's just a little hard because it's bigger. But and then. Right now we're putting some braces, then you put on your uh, stupid ass fucking tray, all of the bolts again, it's like 15 bolts and shit, and that'll be wraps, then you should be able to go stage two. Alright guys, we're back at home, the BMW is parked up right now, or the next day actually. We're, we're like really excited to see stage two, and we didn't even get, really get to feel it because the car started misfiring and it started overheating right now what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and stage one it and i'm going to see if it helps it go ahead and pop it open we don't want to stage zero it but we do want to i don't know guys should i stage one it yeah fuck it now it's flashing the ecu I hope you guys are enjoying your stage 2 plus if it doesn't turn out to be just the spark plugs i'm gonna have to spend a few racks again on this car this thing is getting really expensive i don't like it anymore someone sent me an offer and it's yours <laughs> 